It's an exciting time of the year at the Rapid City Greenhouse. Plants are growing quickly and will soon be going in the ground, and that makes it the perfect time of year for a field trip. Colorland's Tyler Lauder takes us along to find out what students are learning. Seventh graders in Mrs. Simpson's family and consumer science class traded in their classroom for a greenhouse. It's a chance to see all of the flowers that will soon be planted in city parks and to also learn about horticulture. I do a few things throughout the year. This is my first big tour of uh, a big class like this. 30 kids is a lot to bring down, but I, I, I enjoy it. It's kind of fun to be able to share some of the things that we do for the city and the city allows us to do. Both the Highs for Heroes and the Rapid City Greenhouse just hope to encourage these students to show their green thumb and to have an interest in this stuff that they do. And if just one student gets an interest in plants, they call that a victory. Yeah, I think it is cool. Um, I've kind of taken away that looking out other flowers, like seeing how much work goes into it and that's how much they do year round, how much the bees do, just kind of how much work they do overall. How we take care of those flowers and, and the process it does, which is, which is not as easy as just being able to put a flower out into the garden and uh, grow and just explaining how we take care of them, how we nurture them and, and get them uh, ready to go out into the gardens come the end of May. And learning goes beyond field trips. The Rapid City Greenhouse hires kids as young as age 14 during the summer to keep the plants growing all season long. That's really cool that they have a lot of trust in teenagers. I think that also helps them, helps teenagers kind of get outside during the summer and just really just enjoy nature while helping their community. In Rapid City, Tyler Lauder, Kelloland News. And these tours continue tomorrow with more students from West Middle School attending.